here at Sun and Fun, we've come over to the hearth display to hear about some replacements that I think is pretty interesting. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking to Matt Dander, and you're going to tell me about how you can take what, well, over the years, Rotax sold a lot of 447s and 503s, and they were some great engines, but they've long ago discontinued those engines. So all the ones that are out there, probably many of them getting to be the end of their life, and they need something to replace it with, and you've got some options, Matt. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, we have a 40-horsepower. It's called the 2702. Well, this is That's this right, engine right here, this huh? This engine right here. It's, it's available fan-cooled or free air cooled. Most people buy it fan cooled. Uh, it has dual ignition, uh, single carburetor, gearbox is available or belt drive. This engine makes 40 horse at 5,500 RPM, which is uh, 750 RPM less than the 447 made 40. So that means your takeoff RPM is 750 less and your cruise RPM is 750 less. And by running at those low RPMs, it sips gas. It's very, very good on gas, very smooth and quiet. What is a typical fuel burn on it at cruise in a uh, that, some sort of average number? The fuel burn depend on your, the RPM required to, uh, to cruise at different aircraft. But it's usually somewhere 2.5, 2.75. Okay, a real low number then, yeah. less than 3 gallons yeah, an hour. Less than 3 Again, gallons depending on the airframe and how you're operating it, of course. Yeah, but. Yeah. That's, those are low low values. Yeah. You can have it both belt drive or gear drive. Yeah, you can have this gearbox. It's the uh, same gearbox we use on the larger engines. We don't make a smaller gearbox. And it, also the belt drive, uh, the same belt drive that's on this engine uh, is also available on the 2702. How hard is that effort if somebody says, all right, out with the old one and in with the new one, what's the work effort for them? Well, luckily the... The offset of the gearbox and the length of the engine is similar, so it's going to fit in the same space as a 447, and your thrust line is going to be very similar. But the mounting, the mounting points on the block are a little different. Seven, the mounting points are about like that, about that wide. Okay. Ours are clear out here at the ends, 210 millimeters apart. So if you're mounted on a big plate, you can probably just re-drill it for the, for the hearth. But if you've got two crossbars, you may have to spread them out a little bit. So it's usually... Uh, not a major effort, uh, and luckily we do a lot of work with that. We, for instance, we have a Kolb mounting package right now that allow you to put this right on a Kolb uh, uh, Aerolite mounting package, and those mounting packages include the exhaust brackets too. Okay. People with average skills can do it themselves, and if they don't feel they can, all I have to do, all they have to do, is send me the dimensions of their old mount, and we can make a mount. This has been a replacement then, uh, the, the one you recommend for a 447 replacement. It's the same horsepower and all the other factors you just mentioned. What about for the 503, Matt? Well, for the 503, we've got a couple choices. All right, let's have a look at one. All right, now we've moved over to another engine here, and this is what's commonly called a boxer style where the uh, cylinder, cylinders oppose one another. Yep, um, that's correct. And, and this is a very compact package here, and I see it's got electric start on it as well. Um, what are we looking at here, Matt, the, this very small package that puts out 50 horsepower? Yeah, this is called, uh, the Hearth F23, and it's been available for 25 years. And for many years, I would only sell about a handful a year, and it's become one of our best-selling engines here recently. Uh, one reason is it's light enough that it can be used on some ultralights. The whole entire engine weighs 71 pounds with recoil start, 78 wow. pounds with electric start. Uh, to give you, a, to give you a, a comparison, a 447 with recoil and gearbox weighs 87 pounds. Oh, goodness. That's quite yeah. a bit savings yeah. then. Yeah. This, is a, this engine's only available with a belt drive. A uh, belt drive turns the opposite direction of a gearbox. So if you're replacing an engine that had a gearbox, you will have to buy a different prop. Uh, electric start is available. Uh, it has a 250-watt lighting, uh, lighting coil, which is a 21-amp charging system. Uh, dual ignition is standard. Um, the TAC hookup is the same as the Rotax, meaning it has a six-pulse signal for tech tachometers. So if you already have a, a Rotax, you, you can use your TAC over. Okay, so those elements are the same. Some elements are going to be different. How about the actual mounting of the engine to the airframe? Well, this is a totally different animal than an inline. And in, in most cases, if you're replacing an inline engine with this one, you will probably have to completely rebuild the engine mount. It also has twin exhaust. The, the exhaust look just like the exhaust on this engine, except there's one for each side. 
and uh, but but all the pipe between the expansion chamber, which is inside the muffler, and the c cylinder is straight pipe, so that can be recut and rewelded in any shape ah, you okay. like, as long as you keep the length the same. So you're gonna have to do a little work to uh, make it fit into the the aircraft that it, which engine it's replacing. Yes, that's one of the reasons this engine is selling better now is is we are now offering custom-made exhaust systems, custom engine mounts. Um, just uh, we've recently made mounts for Kit Fox, uh, Light, and uh, and Decker, uh, several other models. We also make an engine mount for this for the uh, Aerolites and also call aircraft. And last year we came out with a mounting system and exhaust that you can use it on a Quicksilver single seater and stay legal 103. Okay, so that's real interesting. 50 horsepower, and you mentioned that a couple of times now. I'm just going to repeat to clarify for everyone. Many aircraft that can meet Part 103 with whatever engine they've got on it now could go to this potent engine and still stay within the numbers, all other things being equal, of course. Yes. Yeah. Right. That's a really interesting thing because that'll make a lightweight aircraft like that perform like crazy, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, yeah. With uh, that kind of power, it's uh, they can get exciting. Yeah, this is also good for any single seat, experimental single seater. It's uh, like uh, Cub lookalikes. It works well in tractor prop applications. Yeah. This engine here is is made in two versions. The 3202 is 55 horse at 5500, and it's that's the one that's actually off, most often used to replace a 503 because it's an inline with the ah, same okay. with the same general offset and length of a 503. It's much easier. We talked about all the work you'd have to do to get to an F23 in. This this like the 2702, uh, usually with minor modification to the old Rotax mount can be mounted. Um, and it is an easier installation at 55 horse at 5500. Again, it's making 10 percent more power than a 503 at 750 RPM less, and your cruise is going to be about 800 RPM less. And it's really good on gas. It's uh, uh, about a gallon, a gallon, a quarter less fuel burn than a 503. And then we make a high performance version of the same engine. It's called the 3203, and it makes 65 horse at 6,300 RPM. So there's an application. There's a uh, opportunity to, if you need a, if you have a heavy two seater that needs 65 horsepower, this allows you to put an air cooled 65 horsepower. It's lighter, no radiator, no uh, hoses. Ah, that. okay. So you get rid of quite a bit of the plumbing then too yeah. by uh, making this choice here. Yes. Uh, talk to me a little bit about um, uh, overhaul times and some of those qualities. And I think you said that that kind of the same numbers apply to all the engines that we've just been discussing. Yeah, well, most of our engines are made j just like this one in two versions: a high torque, low RPM version, as the 3202 is, or a high performance version, as the 65 horse is. And all the high torque, low RPM engines have a 1,200 hour TBO, and all the high performance engines that always turn 6,000 plus RPM have a 1,000 hour TBO. This engine complete with gearbox, electric start, exhaust, all the accessories, comes in at just under 100 pounds, about 98 pounds. A 503 with electric start, I think, is 101. Okay. So, so we're right about so the same Very, weight. very similar, and yeah. uh, but actually a little bit of weight savings. Yeah, very little. And with a 582 with the weight of the radiator, then you're probably talking another 10 or 15 less. Okay, so quite a bit less than when you're doing yeah. the 582 replacement. Yeah. Okay, all hearth engines come with a one-year warranty against any defective part and we'll also cover an unexplainable piston seizure, which means if you forget your oil, we're not covering that. But if, but it, sometimes there, uh, if, if there's a seizure, we'll just cover it under the first year. Also, there's a three-year prorated warranty on the crankshaft. If, uh, if you were to lose a crank in the first year, it's free, of course. Uh, second year, we pay two-thirds parts and labor, and the third year, we pay one-third parts and labor. Okay. All right, well, let's go have a look at one more interesting replacement engine. So one of the more uh, popular uh, and successful aircraft we've seen in the light aircraft space has been from a company called Quad City, and they make the Challenger. And unless you've been under a rock for a long time, you already know that brand. Mm -hmm. They have used Hearth in the past, but they've also used other engines. And those aircraft have been around now a while. That company's been around quite a while. So some of those engines are probably due for replacement. You've done a special package for them, I understand. Tell me more about it, Matt. Yeah, we do. For the two-seater aircraft, we have made a uh, Hearth uh, Challenger conversion package for 15 years now where it involves the engine mount, a, a cog belt drive for the Hearth engine, drops right in place on two-seat Challengers. You can use our 40, our 55, or our 65-horse engine. 
Um, and that has been up for now for 15 years. We have over 50 in the field run flying. Okay. So that's been available for a long time. But with the on, with the uh, resurgence of ultralight popularity, we decided to make a package for our F-33. The F-33 is a single cylinder, 28 horsepower engine. It's used on a lot of uh, uh, a lot of companies use it for the ultralights. But because of the high offset that a Challenger needs in order to run a decent sized prop. It was tough to mount this engine under the tube or over the tube. Uh, it was just a tough installation. So what we did was we created a way to mount the, t the engine off the end of the tube. And with, when we send this out, this is all made oh, by Oh, I our see. All, all, of this, all these parts right here then are to accommodate that, and you're supplying them. Exactly. This, yeah, I see. This is the standard engine, and then we, we make this mount with bury mounts vertical like this. And the, when a, and the customer gets the engine just like this, he slides it on his root tube, puts a C-clamp on it, drills his holes, and he's mounted. You, know, you, can, you can have this mounted in a few minutes, then you run your throttle, your gas, ignition. A few minutes, really. Yeah. Okay. Well, the engine comes standard with electric start. That's what this ring gear is for here. The starter is over here on this side. Okay, a little out of view, but it's right here. Yep. Uh, dual ignition is standard. Uh, carburetor, fuel pump. Air filter, all comes with the engine. Start relay, regular rectifier is all included. Uh, it's really a complete package. There's not much else from us you'll need to buy. This setup, by, by moving the engine to the center with our standard belt drive, instead of making a, 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 a custom cog belt drive or something, we can now run a 56-inch prop on the Challenger, which is plenty of prop for a 28-horsepower engine. Wow, okay. So good right. job there, Matt. Where can we find out even more information? Where can get people get specifications and find out about pricing and delivery times and like that? In other words, give us your web address. We'll put it up on the screen for everybody. Oh, okay. Well, we're uh, uh, Recreational Power Engineering is the company. We're the Hearth Distributor, and our, our, our uh, website is www.recpower, R-E-C-P-O-W-E-R. Dot com, and our email address is rpe at bpsom. That's Bravo Papa Sierra Oscar Mike dot com. Okay, very good, Matt. Thanks for talking with us today. You can find more. There's been all kinds of times when I've mentioned Hearth on the uh, articles that I've written about various aircraft. So you can find lots of that and all sorts of affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for talking with Matt Dander and myself here at Sun and Fun.